Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel, Happy Learn. Question: Prove that R is equal to 2F, where R is the radius of curvature and F is focal length of a concave mirror. Solution: First of all, let us draw the ray diagram. Let it be a concave mirror. Its uh, midpoint called as pole, symbol P. The circle or sphere of the circumference, center of the sphere, which is called as center of circumference. The principal axis. A ray is incident on the mirror close to the pole. and parallel to the principal axis this is a normal drawn from the point of incidence such that it passes through the center of the sphere then the angle between the incident ray and the normal is the angle of incidence i because it is a mirror reflection takes place and the angle of reflection that is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is also equal to i the point where the reflected ray cuts the principal axis is the focus represented by letter f the angle made by the normal with the principal axis is also equal to i according to the principles of mathematics then this angle at f is uh, the exterior angle which will be equal to sum of the two opposite interior angles so this is equal to 2i draw a normal from point m on to the principal axis so let the foot of the perpendicular be n then the distance from c to p center of the sphere to the pole is the radius of curvature represented by r and the distance from f to p that is focus to pole is the focal length represented by letter f from the triangle cnm it is a right angle triangle tan i is equal to mn by cn opposite side by adjacent side similarly from the right angle triangle fnm tan 2 i is equal to mn by fn for small angles tan a is equal to a in case of small angles tan theta is equal to theta tan a is equal to a therefore tan i is equal to i and tan 2i is equal to 2i then we can write i is equal to mn by cn and 2i is equal to mn by fn in place of tan i we wrote i in place of tan 2i we wrote 2i since n is almost coinciding with p the foot of the perpendicular n is almost coinciding with p we can use p in place of n we can write i is equal to mp by cp and 2i is equal to mp by fp dividing the two equations 1 by 2 equal to fp by cp on cross multiplication we get cp equal to 2 fp but cp equal to r fp equal to f therefore r is equal to 2f the radius of curvature of the mirror is equal to twice of its focal length
ओके राइट